Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler. Welcome to another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. So today we are performing another mission the putting out fires, another firefighter mission. And for that we will use the Helitac firefighter helicopter. Helitac is uh, an actual term and it's applied to helicopters that um, put out fires and this is um, a combination of two words helicopter and attack and this particular model is based on the Sikorsky S64 uh, sky crane that um, in real life it also has this um, firefighter version but uh, this particular model doesn't uh, follow uh, in any precision this uh, firefighter model the let's say that the, the the sky crane in general is uh, l loosely based on the, on the Sikorsky S64 model so first we need to assess what's going on uh, in the oil rig this we we have like this um, emergency call reporting a small fire in the oil rig so we have first to assess what's going on there and but we we, we expect to find fire there so let's go to the rig and i'm going to use the fans this helicopter has two fans uh, two propulsion fans that will help us get there faster and uh, but it's risky when when it's windy it's risky to use these fans uh, one thing about this helicopter is that it consumes a lot of fuel so time is of essence uh, so the the fans help to reduce uh, the time overall of the of the mission. So that's why uh, we need to use them here because we, if we are putting fire, we we this will take time. So once we are close enough like one kilometer or so from the rig i will put out the the fans we'll turn off the fans and uh, we'll travel the remainder distance without them also we are gaining uh, uh, altitude pretty quick so we don't want to be that um, high up Okay, so I see the rig already, and I can see that it's uh, held down there. So let's get close enough. We will need to, to load some water on the tanks if we're going to put out those fires. So let's So we we have to g get in contact with water uh, to um, load the tank. So we have to be low enough and There, I think it will start taking water anytime. There we are. So this tank can hold um, 8,000 liters. But I think with um, 3,000 we are good. We don't need more than that.
Yeah, that's enough. So let's put the helicopter in position. Okay, so I think these are the most difficult um, fires here. If they are uh, difficult to access, we switch to the firefighter. Um, seat and we activate the cannon and as you can see there the cannon is uh, is uh, pumping water oh but that's so difficult to there 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 there, there. Okay. No, that's too high. That's almost off. That's off. Now the other one. That one is off as well. Now these are easier to put off. They're more in the open. <laughs> I make all sort of movements uh, <laughs> when when I play in this uh, game I don't know, I feel this uh, sensation it's weird that I have to uh, to posture my body in such a way to get the water in the right place I don't know why okay, this, this one is almost um, off I think that's that one's off. The other one. It's almost off as well. And that one is off. Now this one. I think I will have to get closer. Let's get a bit closer because it's hard. From the other, uh, from the other post, I cannot. I have some control of the of the helicopter, but I cannot um, move forwards or backwards. And this one is almost off. There. So that it's all. Now the critical thing is the fuel. And we have to get the helicopter to that um, uh, platform right there. That uh, tiny platform. And we have to land to land the helicopter in the platform. I don't know if I think it will be better to land it that way. Let's go back a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. Where are we? Ah. So a little bit forward. Oh, I think I have 
I stroke the, the the blades. It could be, yeah. I think I stroke the blades because the helicopter is not rotating. I hit something. Yes, you see the back rotor there. Damn it. Okay, so I don't know if this will spoil the whole mission. Let's see. No, no. I have to tell them to follow me. So... And then the other... The other guys... Where... Wow, we only have two blades. I don't know if this is going to work, but let's see. They're in this office, right? So this guy has a panic attack here and he um, climbed the, <laughs> the table. <laughs> he was so scared. Oh, are they following me? Yes. Sometimes if you uh, run, they will stop following you. So you shouldn't um, go that fast. Where are there? Okay, so we are we have to go into the helicopter and let's see if I can manage to fly this thing as it is. So stop following me, stop following me, stop following me and stop following me. So this one I will put here. This one there. This one there so be good boys and uh, there ah, it seems that they will take seat automatically okay guys so let's see if we are lucky and we can return With this amount of fuel and with the helicopter in the shape that is it right now. So uh, for our return trip, I will say that let's try to get there. If we can get there, then um, I can just uh, fetch the... I can fetch the other helicopter, I have another helicopter. Because the problem is that we don't have enough fuel. So that's two kilometers away, I think we can do it. I would just land this one. Oh, okay. Let's see how how far we can get. I think the the plates are not the main problem. The main problem is the the fuel. So let's turn this off. Let's 
turn that uh, out the hammer off. And let's try landing this thing on this base. Because as you can see, uh, we are running out of fuel pretty quick. I don't see a thing. Okay, I think this is a good spot here. And I will fetch the other helicopter. So auto hover on. Down. You see that we are we are almost out of fuel. So I wonder how much time I it will take me uh, to fetch the other helicopter. It's close by, but I don't. There we are, and we don't own this base. This this is the thing. We don't own this base. So they should wait here. I will fetch the other helicopter. So let's get these people out. Oh, they're all... Eh? What have they... They just stand up. Stand up. So, what are you doing there? What? Oh, uh, they're doing crazy stuff. Stop following. Stop following. And there's this guy here. There. So, follow. Follow and follow. Come on guys, we have only 10 minutes to get there. I think we're not going to make it. It's uh, too far away. Oh, and I think this helicopter doesn't have enough room for them all. Come here. What is he doing? There. Stay there. Eight minutes. I think this is not going to go well. What's the distance? Five kilometers. So we are close to the hospital, there's four minutes remaining of time, so um, it seems that we're going to pull this off, that's incredible, and there's the helipad, so it's uh, close to the, that's perfect, let's put on the auto hover. Go to the helipad. And we are carrying um, four people here. Beside me, so that's five in total. And this helicopter can only hold uh, four. So this is... Uh, This is uh, an achievement here. So, this is how this guy traveled. <laughs> Standing up there. I think we're going to make it after all. Uh, don't follow me yet. Mm. 
Don't follow me yet. And yeah. You can follow me. You can follow me now. You can follow me and you can follow me. So yes. Four in a row. So two minutes remaining. For the mission to end. And we are doing this right now. So, mission complete. And all these people are people that I have rescued. <laughs> the hospital is full. So, we were successful, guys. Another successful mission. So, at the end, I had to switch helicopters. So, I didn't have enough fuel to return to uh, my base to refuel. Also, I had so short time. So what I did is that I return. I um, landed on a neighboring uh, island because this was the closest one, and there's a base there, but I don't own it. And I had to swim to another to my base to fetch the helicopter. Uh, then with uh, this other helicopter, I. Um, Collected the survivors and headed for the hospital and we're here So Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you next time So this is Ivers Hetler signing off <laughs>